How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Sam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fit. <laughs> Hey Internet, praise be to God and welcome to Freddy Fish Free, the case of the Storm Cock Shell. It's been too long since I've done a junior adventure game. Moon <laughs> landing? Luther? Thanks for the lift, Sam! Have a good time! And I just realized Sam's head is gigantic in proportion to his body. But yeah, this is Freddy Fish Free. It's been a very long time since I last played uh, Freddy Fish 2 with Marty, so I thought I might as well get into the third one. And since the third one has significantly different paths than the other two, I decided to play this first just by myself, and then when I cover the other paths, I'll bring in Marty as my co-commentator. But as you can see, this is your typical junior arcade game. Not arcade. Junior adventure. Click on stuff. <laughs> Weird stuff happens. I hope you enjoyed flying Pelican Sam Airlines, where your bill is never as big as mine. Oh, <laughs> that was funny. There will be visitors from around the world at the Founders Day Festival. That foreign language phrase book could really come in handy. Right as rain, Freddy, it's all yours. As soon as you give me one orange sea urchin, that is. Orange sea urchins, not purple. Different currency. <laughs> Although we'll still see purple sea urchins in this. Wow, okay. Enough dawdling, let's dive on in. Alright, I, uh, I forgot how beautiful the Humongous Entertainment Games graphics are. They're just wonderful. That looks like something expensive. Yikes! I almost lost a pin. I'm not trying that again. Not without something to keep that clam from snapping shut. So, it's important to remember that. We're going to need to know where, remember where that is later on in the game. That old fishing net is blocking our path. I wonder how we can get past it. Well, you could try pulling the plug. Hmm. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Only one way to find out. It Great fills with job. water and opens the I gate. knew you could pull it off. Get it? Pull <laughs> off? Oh, move there. That was a good one, Moofer. I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Yep, this is definitely an adventure game. <laughs> Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? How does he know Freddy? Uncle Blenny! What are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Uh-oh. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. How the did you have this? The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horst Fetters the Tourist. <laughs> How did he just have a picture of all of them? Dogfish sniff out the thief? Old soggy sniffer ain't what it used to be. <laughs> but if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blanny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. Oh. So apparently he was, uh, they, they arrested him real fast despite having no evidence against him. 
That's not right. And also, nice little pup pup cameo as a poster in his jail cell. Oh, sure enough. <laughs> it wouldn't be a police station without oh, coffee oh. and donuts. <laughs> wow, he got arrested by that guy. Oh yeah, we can make a wanted poster. I totally forgot about this. Yeah, that's, that looks like someone would be wanted. Oh wait, oh. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> nice shifty eyes. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh yes! Yes, this is great. <laughs> oh la la, definitely. <laughs> yep, yep, that looks right. <laughs> this is just, I love how Humongous Entertainment games just have stuff like this lying around, like coloring books. Uh, dude, you might want to go a little easier on the cherry Kool-Aid. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, it, yeah, it's just really cool. Humongous Entertainment Games throwing stuff like that, where it's just like design a wanted poster. Has no relevance to the game, it's just something cool that you can do. So yeah, you'll note, remember that shiny thing back there was one of the three golden pipes, but we can't get it just this yet. This is a statue of our founder. It is in his honor that we hold the annual Founder's Day Festival. Oh, really? That is interesting to know. Let's go in here. This looks like an interesting place. Hey, dude. Excuse me, sir, but are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. And Pierre men seem so better than new. So if something was torn into a million, million teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Bisha! With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Yeah, somehow I don't think that you would be able to do that. Oh, if only I, Pierre, had the perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. What's wrong with the egg that's on it? The egg? It is too roly-poly. But I suppose <laughs> I have to do. Unless, of course, I could get the perfect accessory. A blue-tailed Joey bird feather. That would look beautiful, Pierre. Oh, well, we better keep our eyes out for that. <laughs> oh, I love the random stuff that happens in the background. It's just great. Oh, what? That's not a real bell. I'll ignore that. Someone tells me Fatty Bear is going to appear there. Freddy Fish? Eh, maybe not. Thank you, Pup Putt Fish. <laughs> Alright, well, we can't really do anything else in there, so let's explore around a bit. This. Ooh! This way looks fun. Let's go down here. Oh boy, fit best Get character. Right up, gills and buoys for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tube ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. Tired of going belly up at parties? Is scorn the only thing you spawn? Well, don't get in a snit when you can score a hit here at Gil Barker's Floating Fun. If you've got four purple sea urchins, just fork over the dough and in you go. You'll come out a winner or my name isn't Broccoli Bob. But your name isn't Broccoli Bob. Don't bother me with details, son. <laughs> so this is Gil Barker. He becomes a reoccurring character starting in this game. He basically... He basically replaced Ray from the first two games, where he's like the swindler, but in this case, he like runs a shifty carnival, basically. Hmm. <laughs> that is a fun mirror you got there. Let's go in here, ignoring the giant creepy clown face. Wow, it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Why does Grandma Grouper have her own brand of fortune-telling machines? That seems a bit weird. Oh, this is great music. I totally forgot about this Look, music, Randy, uh, track. I found a purple sea urchin. Toss it over here, and I'll hang on to it for later. Yes! Good work, Luther. Yeah, it's been a... 
just heads up, it's been a very long time since I last played Freddy Fish 3, so I'm, I'm not exactly familiar with everything that can happen. But it's still a fun game, and I do enjoy it very much. Beware, lest you lose the substance grasping at the shadow. Wow, that's really deep. Oh, underwater puns. Oh my gosh, that is a freaking giant eyeball. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Spy Fox! Fatty Bear is gonna come out of here eventually. Oh, that's the Humongous Entertainment series I actually haven't let's played yet. Pajam Sam. Yes, Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. That's the one. He does the junior uh, field trips. I just know Fatty Bear's gonna come out of here eventually. I can't, I don't actually remember if he does. Okay, maybe not. They brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Oh yeah. Another, just this is another great thing that they just put in the game, and it doesn't really have a whole lot of bearance on the actual plot of the game. But like, it's just something really fun to do. This carnival organ is. We can change the kind of sound the organ makes. Did you ever want to play a piano song with Pep barking every note? Well, now you can! Oh yeah, you can record a song and then it'll play it back for you. That is horrible, never mind. There are nine drum rhythms we can play. Did you actually want me to play the game? No, I'm just going to play the piano. <laughs> That's just something fun that I like to do in the game. Alright, let's continue forward. Oh boy, it's Nadine. Know about who stole the great conch shell. The last person I saw near it was Horst Fetters. Maybe he's the one who took it. She sounds really familiar. Hey, you're kind of cute. Yikes. <laughs> Nadine, are you the one who stole the great conch shell? I love the festival. Taking the great conch shell would ruin it. I would never do that. <laughs> I forgot you can like interrogate the people. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. <laughs> okay, I swear, Nadine the Narwhal sounds so familiar. I'm gonna look up her voice actress after this. Oh boy. Look, Freddy, it's a purple sea urchin. Gimme. Got it. So every Humongous Entertainment Junior Adventure game has to have some musical numbers. These are the ones in this! When I want to go down to the bottom of the sea, I go swim around at the bottom of the sea. Won't you come join me? Oh, at the bottom of the sea. Down here. Yeah! Don't go sneaking round the 
ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Oh no, don't go swimming too close to my door down in the deep blue sea. I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse than his bark will ever be. Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Uh, I don't want to mess with you dude, so I guess I will never go scuba diving. Oh yeah. Well dive down deep into the murky sea. Well that's where you run into me. I'm a cool catfish with an attitude. I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool. Come take a swim in the blue. I'll make you feel so cool. Oh. <laughs> it's, oh. El <laughs> it's Elvis meets Grease. Swimming to and fro. I always eat my seaweed because it helps me grow. Someday I'll be so big and strong I'll never have to fear. But for now I'm a little fishy who is hiding under here. Is that the best song or the worst song? You decide. And yet, that's still better lyrics than all of the Kingdom Hearts 2 songs. <clears throat> These kelp vines are too thick for us to get past. <laughs> <laughs> and we have our thumbnail. <laughs> that tastes horrible. If we can find someone who likes to eat this type of kelp, then we can get through this doorway. That's true. Hey, doggy. Oh, looks like he wants Jeez, to eat some of that. This looks like it's really hungry for those kelp vines. Well, well, well. A little puzzle we can do here. Click on him. Click on the clam. Look, Luther. The doorway's clear. Swell. And the question is, how did those vines grow right over the center of this, which was made for the carnival? I don't know. Oh boy! Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes! I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. Yes, and also... Luther, look! It's one of the golden pipes we need. Yeah, but how are we going to get it out? We'll just need to find something small enough to fit in that too. That's Loofer. So this is probably the most fun one to get, where basically you send Loofer on an amazing water slide ride. So you can use these levers to determine which pipes he's going to go for. So there's this lever. Just open that too. So one of those three. I'll make him go for the green one. This one up here. Yes, we want him to go through the... Uh, Golden pipe one, then down here. Yes. Then if we hit this... I think this makes you go through the tubes twice. <laughs> Might as well, why not? <laughs> Grab it! Nice. <laughs> I got endless enjoyment from this when I was a kid. It's one of the golden pipes! Good job, Luther! Yeah! And now we need just two more golden pipes for old Doggy to pick up the scent. So now I want to show off a few more of them. <laughs> That's my favorite. Okay, come on, who as a kid didn't fantasize about going through these tubes? It looks like the most fun thing ever, am I right? Come on! 
<laughs> it's just so awesome. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Poor Uncle Blaney. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. Oh. Don't be sad, Uncle Blenny. Is it Uncle Blenny or Uncle Lenny, but they just say it weird? I don't know. Either way, we are out of time for this episode. I'm sorry I didn't get a lot done, but that's what happens when you mess around in the Junior Adventure games. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the next episode. We'll probably get another golden pipe. I'll just be realistic. We'll probably get one more. I'm not promising anything more than that, though. Anyhow, have a great day, and God bless. And, like all the other Junior Adventure games, if you want to save your progress, just press the S key on your keyboard. And you can save your game.